Hi everyone. Let's say that you receive a report and you need to create a record in Salesforce with the data from that report. And let's say that the report doesn't have all the data you need to create that record because the report only includes an email address, but you need a Salesforce contact ID in order to create the record. So what do you do? Well, in this video, we are going to use a Salesforce connector called Search Query to locate a contact ID, which we can then use the output of to create a record in Salesforce. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our Power Automate flow. We're just gonna use the manual trigger for this example. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna search for the specific action called execute SOSL search query. And this is a Salesforce premium connector. Now you're gonna need a specific search string and that search string starts with find. Then we're gonna use our braces And in our braces, we're going to enter the specific email address, which we need the contact ID for. So for this example, I'm just using my own email address, and it needs to be in quotations. To conclude our search query, we're going to use find email, specific email, in email fields, returning contact, and then in parentheses, ID. So that's our search query. Now, to get more information about search queries, I'll put this, the link for this Salesforce site uh, documentation for the find search query. And what you'll see on this page is down below, you've got um, a list of uh, example find clauses here. So you can find like different uh, options for running search queries on this website. So we're going to go ahead and save our flow. And let's go ahead and run that. I'm just going to use the test option since it's a manual trigger. Let's run flow. Done. Now let's see what that returned for us. So we go ahead and click on execute search query. And we're gonna find that it found this Salesforce ID, which is the ID of the contact for the person in Salesforce with our email address up here. So there's another thing you can do with this. Let's say that you are pulling in the data to create your Salesforce record from a Excel spreadsheet that has a table. So I'm gonna hop over here and I've already got my list rows present in table action. So let's, once again, let's search for our Salesforce connector. And you can always just type in Salesforce, find the Salesforce um, action. And then you can search, you know, from the connectors here, here's our execute SOSL uh, search query, or actually, this one, and then we put in our uh, search query string here, and I've got it copied over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in here. Um, but now in this example, we actually, what we wanna do is we wanna pull in some dynamic content from our list rows present in table. So we wanna pull in the email. So if I go over here to our dynamic content, this is pulling dynamic content from my Excel spreadsheet, which is um, present in this act, in this action here. So I'm looking for technical contact email. So this is the this is the value that I want here. And because it's a spreadsheet with multiple rows, Power Automate is automatically going to create and apply to each action. And it's gonna put this value. So this is the value of our list rows present in table, and then it put our execute search query inside of our apply to each action. And now we can see it's gonna search for that specific um, email every 
from every row. So let's go ahead and save that and let's see what happens. Once again, we're gonna test since this is a manual trigger. Test and continue and run flow. And let's see what our result is here. So it's still thinking and it's finished in two seconds. Let's go ahead and open the execute search query and let's take a look. And here's the result. So there was one row on that table and actually, sorry, there was uh, two rows on that table and it returned a, a contact ID for each row. So if we click to next, we can see the next row. And then once again, there is our contact ID. And so you can then take this a step further and you can create more actions. So the next action you're gonna to wanna to create is your create record, for example. And then you can insert that ID into that action as dynamic content so that it will pull in your contact ID to then create the record and, and put the contact ID into that record. All right, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.